I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. This is going to be a good one. Get on. Okay, amazing interview I saw today and uh, on TV with uh, Michael Cohen. And why didn't everybody think of this before? Donald is going to flip on the kids. He'll flip on everybody. Remember, it's never Donald. It's always the accountant. It's always the lawyers. It's always somebody else is telling me. They told me I had to do this and I had to do that. I'm waiting for the government. Somebody else. So, of course, and the different projects are assigned to different kids. So, yeah. He's going to flip on the kids. Of course. Of course he's going to flip on the kids. Who else would it be? I mean, I could just hear him stumbling through it with the prosecutors uh, trying to say, well, you know, they were in charge of those things. That I'm sure, uh, they, you know, they, don't, they, they may not have known what they were doing and they may have taken some bad advice. You'd have to talk to them. You know, I don't know. Talk to them. So, yeah, this is, this is a very likely scenario. Very, very likely scenario. I've been uh, on a kick lately of watching uh, bird videos, and there's an odd situation where a lot of these birds actually eat their young. If they can't feed them, they'll eat them. So <laughs> let's see what happens. I'm loving this deck that I just got. It's the Le Grand uh, Circus and Sideshow Tarot. Key word being here, Sideshow. Um, so I'll show you the cards, although I think I may have shown them to you yesterday. I get confused as to when these videos actually air. But... Um, these are great, great, great cards. Uh, it's by a fellow named Joe Lee who uh, drew them and wrote the book uh, that I have right here. And a very uh, interesting fella. And uh, it's take it's worth your um, googling this find Joe Lee uh, to uh, get some information on him. And it seems like he's a very interesting fella. I'm going to put these uh, right here for now. I'll show you the cards, and uh, they're fantastic. They're colorful. They're insightful. Um, they're beautifully drawn and um, there's I really find nothing wrong with these cards whatsoever they're easy to use they've got a good texture and um, so here we go and uh, they just I think these are now my uh, DT cards they're the ones for him what else could you use except for a sideshow uh, circus uh, depictions so here we go we're going to see how this is going to shape up for DT will he flip on the kids of course he will. How could it be anything else? But I've got I've got to clear my mind. Uh, this is not good to have these thoughts. So let's um, let's just shuffle the cards, and I'll just try to read what comes out. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Don Don Don, are you going to throw the kids under the bus? What are you going to do? Are you going to chuck those kids under the bus? Of course you are. Of course you are. When push comes to shove, you will give up anybody that you can to to keep yourself uh, out of trouble. It's been the theme of your life since you were a child trying to get your mom's attention. I mean, there's stories about uh, when he was in school and uh, he would start fights and then just lie, 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 lie uh, constantly until, which is what he does now. I mean, it's just a theme of this guy's life. Johnny, are you gonna send the kids <laughs> under the bus okay so we're gonna uh, take six cards right off the top I want this one one two three four five we'll take this one six okay let's see what happens with DT okay Donald 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 are you gonna give up the kids is that what's gonna happen here Okay, let's uh, signify a card. Is the fool? <laughs> well, okay. So, aside from the obvious, uh, the fool is always starting off on a uh, a new journey, and this is perilous indeed. This idiot right here is about to step off into the mouth of the tiger, and uh, if these are the prosecutors, and this is this is our subject today, uh, this looks entirely possible, entirely possible. So. Uh, we'll say starting off on a new journey. See how this fleshes out. The challenge to this, then, if that's him, is the Knight of Cups 
So the Knight of Cups is uh, sometimes referred to as the greedy merchant. It's someone who has really accumulated lots of, of uh, emotional value, and they're very proud to show it off. So if this uh, elephant is the GOP, and this is our subject, Mr. DT, then um, this uh, how is this a challenge? How is this a challenge to starting the, the journey? We have to leave it for a minute and get back to it, I believe. I'm just so excited about this revelation that uh, Michael Cohen talked about that I, I can't hardly think. Um, so the signifier card is starting off on a journey, and the challenge to it, ah, so if you're starting off, you're starting off on a new tack. You're saying this is fresh. This is where I'm going now. This must be what is going to happen. But the problem is, you have all these trophies that you've displayed so prominently uh, over uh, the period that it's not a new journey. It's obvious that it's not a new journey. It's just a new um, tactic. The uh, base of this reading then is the Ten of Cups, which is the family. That's the family card. Jesus. Okay, the family card is the base of the reading. He has all these choices here of who he can toss uh, to the crowd. The recent past of this is the Empress. Wow, who is the Empress? Who is the Empress? Is this Ivanka? I think it is. I think that's Ivanka. And then the sky of this reading uh, is the Page of Wands so bringing some new uh, information, some new plans uh, to the scene. Um, so yeah, I think this is something that he hadn't thought of until until now. So the Page of Wands is uh, bringing something new into the mix. Very interesting, very interesting indeed. And then the likely outcome for this first part of this uh, Celtic cross it then is the Page of Swords. <laughs> oh, let me think about this. So the Page of Swords is um, again just like this page they are the weakest of the court cards they're the ones bringing an idea and so he's ready to swallow fire he's ready to uh, swallow down whatever it takes um, to get this idea off the ground man okay so now let's let's focus in on the self I'm gonna have to start learning to put these cards in a different position because I'm liking this space over here for spreading these cards out so the self, self, self of Donald Trump, as we consider, will he flip on the kids? Jeez. Um, justice. Trump as justice. Trump as justice. I can't even uh, twist my mind uh, into that, um, except to say that uh, in his mind, uh, this is only fair. I can just see him in front of the prosecutors now. Yeah, they were running those projects. I didn't have anything to do with it. You know, that's not fair to blame me. Justice. His own twisted kind of justice. Uh, the environment that this justice is in then is what? It's uh, the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles is honing your craft. Getting things down exactly right. Exactly the way they need to be. And uh, that's what this fella does. He just continues to stick to his uh, uh, path. Whatever attack he goes off on, he stays on it until it's perfectly um, ingrained. My goodness. Um, the um, uh, hopes and the fears for all of this, uh, let's go down here for that one, is uh, the King of Swords. And uh, the King of Swords, man, okay, this is the King of, you know, swords uh, represent uh, usually truth, justice, rules, law. Um, but we're talking about a circus sideshow here. So this uh, king of, of his own uh, rules um, is in complete control. He, th this is the fellow who is the, call him the uh, hawker, the caller, the fellow who stands outside the exhibit and brings people in, telling them all the wonderful things that are inside, that are alive, that they can come in to see. And, uh, and he will twist uh, his descriptions into whatever it takes to get people inside that tent. So the King of Swords is certainly uh, who um, he is. And, uh, and then the final outcome for all of this is going to be the Ace of Wands. Oh, man. So the Ace of Wands is a great big plan. This will be the final straw, I think. It may be his fallback plan after everything else has failed. But I bet you it's going to be in the headlines that he starts serving up his kids. Eventually. 
it'll take a long time for us to figure out if this is what is, is uh, to remember this reading in the future when this starts happening. But yeah, this seems very, very likely to me. So why hadn't any of us thought about that before? He has no love for these uh, these 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 offspring of his. They're they're just trophies. They're what he accomplished. And um, I think yeah, rather than go down himself, I think he'll start eating the kids. <laughs> so the 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 signifier of this uh, of this whole thing was he's a fool. That's it. Okay. Um, the uh, recent past was the empress. Is that Ivana? Ivanka? Oh, Ivana. I wonder if she's the one who might uh, come to the rescue of those kids. Um, her testimony about what she's seen over all these years would be very interesting. The, the previous wife, not the daughter, but the, fir the first wife. Uh, then we went into, um, as, a, as a signifier, justice and his twisted mind he would see himself as this uh exactly because remember we're going into the energy of the subject that we're talking about so yeah he would see this as justice and uh, he didn't do it they did it and then um uh for the hopes and the fears this is the hawker this is the guy outside the tent who's trying to get people to come in greatest show on earth come on in and see everything i've got to show you you won't believe what's going to be revealed it's the kids and then the uh, final outcome is a great big ace of planning, an ace of wands. This is the last resort plan, the last place he can go. And I'm sure he'll go there because it's, it will be the only place left. Well, that's my journey through tarot. My name is Mark. I'm really having a good time with this uh, uh, piece of the uh, number 45 uh, drama that we've lived through for all these years. So, if you want to see what happens next, come on back tomorrow because I'll be here and we can jump on this circus train together and see where it takes us. So, ciao for now.